The humanitarian crisis in Sudan has worsened cholera infections. With nearly 600 cases reported since July, here is Sudanese Health Minister Haitam Mohamed Ibrahim. We have sent investigative and monitoring teams to identify the locations that are contagious, the water in some places and the drinking from the ponds. We have distributed chlorine with the help of UNICEF and the World Health Organization, and we have opened treatment and isolation centers in several neighborhoods in Kasala and al Qadarif states. Currently, we are regularly intervening, and in the coming days, we will be starting a campaign that offers drinkable water mainly in these states. al Qadarif health official Mohamed Dawood said the influx of people due to the ongoing war is straining the city's resources, aiding in the spread of diseases like cholera and conjunctivitis. More than 80% of the diseases we are facing are ones related to the deterioration of the environment, whether diseases that spread by insects, diseases because of the water quality, or diseases related to the lack of proper sewage and the unavailability of suitable toilets. The country is also suffering the world's largest hunger crisis, with some 25.6 million people suffering acute hunger. And the healthcare system is in disarray due to the lack of access to aid in many of the country's provinces.